It's no small consolation in this life to have someone who can unite with you in an intimate affection and the embrace of a holy love, someone in whom your spirit can rest, to whom you can pour out your soul, to whose pleasant exchanges as to soothing songs you can fly in sorrow, a person who can shed tears with you in your worries, be happy with you when things go well, search out with you the answers to your problems, whom with the ties of charity you can lead into the depths of your heart. And so praying to Christ for your friend, and longing to be heard by Christ for your friend's sake, you reach out with devotion and desire to Christ himself, and suddenly and insensibly, as though touched by the gentleness of Christ close at hand, you begin to taste how sweet he is, and to feel how lovely he is. Thus, from that holy love with which you embrace your friend, you rise to that love by which you embrace Christ.